Welcome back to Capote for Good. This is where we talk about how marriage actually works. But have you ever known why I speak slowly there? It's because I need you to know that there's a way how good marriages work. So my name is Joe Pigichana and here we deal with the before I do tips. Actually, uh, marriages don't end wrongly. Marriages begin wrongly. You can actually predict how your marriage is going to end by determining how it starts. The question today is how do I know we are compatible? That's a question everybody asks. It's a valid question because you know if you're not compatible that marriage is not going and you're going to have chaos. So I want us to answer the question. I'm going to give you three pointers to help you analyze if you are the person you want to pick for marriage is compatible to you. Number one, vision. Vision. What on earth are you here for? Why do you exist? Why did God create you? So the first place actually to begin when you want to create a good marriage is to actually analyze yourself and ask yourself questions. What am I here for? What do I want to live for? What do I want my legacy to be? That will help you understand why you are on earth. So people who have not known themselves are not going to make good marriage. They are not ready actually for marriage. If you have not known what you want to do with your life, stop looking for a person to get married to. First and foremost, get to know what you want to do in life. Because if you don't know yourself, if you don't know why you exist, how are you going to know the person you are going to work with? If you want to maybe begin a business, if you don't know what business you want to begin, how do you even know where to find the suppliers? You want to ask me, who can supply for my business? Ask you, which business? So, first and foremost, what business are you here to do on earth? What's your life about? Then you are going to see about the person you want to get married to. So, the first thing is, are your visions compatible? And you are going to know if your visions are compatible if you first know those visions. So, whatever you want to do in life with this person, you are going to, to help you, support you. Because we are in life to accomplish something. You know? For God, God has assigned each and every some work to do. Let me tell you a story. There was some, some lady who felt she really wanted to get married. And uh, because I think many ladies around her were getting married and she thought it's time for her to get married. That is this man who came along, they were both in, uh, in CU, in college, university, uh, somewhere. And uh, this man was fire for God and he made it clear this little time, I want to be a pastor. The lady never liked the idea of getting married to a pastor. Okay, I'm not saying marrying to a pastor is the wrong thing. I'm just giving an example. At the end of the day, cutting the long story short, is that they actually got divorced. Okay, uh, my spiritual father, Apostle Deputy, says once you get married to a person, that person actually becomes the right person. So once you get married, find a way of getting compatible with this person and love their visions. You need to understand that you want to get someone who is going to support you in this vision. If a person doesn't really uh, like what you are doing, then chances are that you are going to fail. They say that if you don't know where you are headed, uh, how can you pick the person who you are going to travel with? Otherwise, everybody around you is going to be fit for the journey. Don't do that mistake. Ensure that you are picking someone you are agreeing in matters vision you that this does not mean that you have got to have the same visions no no no. it means that you like what i'm passing to do in life i like what i want to achieve in life but the thing is find someone you agree matters vision where you want to go find someone who is willing to take you there at least accompany you thank you for listening to me my name is job which channel this coupled for good we talk about how marriage actually works and we focus on before i do tips because you can predict how your marriage is going to end by determining how it starts please make sure you subscribe to this content follow me for more so that i can notify you every time i post such a good content bye bye for now